welcome um, Chris. As Anna said, my name is Chris Herzberger. Um, I'm the Senior Vice President of Universal Theatrical Group, and one of the uh, great privileges of my job is I get to oversee DreamWorks Theatricals, uh, which is the uh, one of the producers of The Prince of Egypt uh, at the uh, Dominion Theater, along with our partners, Mike McCabe. Uh, and Neil Laidlaw. Is the movie just, is it going, or is this the logo for mine? <laughs> this is the logo for me. Oh, exciting. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, I just have to say, as a guy from L.A., it's freezing here. Um, and and, and I, I've been dealing psychologically with, with what that means for several days now, so I honor all of you for being able to, um, to handle what's happening um, outside. Um, really, and it's inside. And inside, I guess. Yes, exactly. Here, um, is it freezing? All right, we'll make, we'll make sure to... We, we have to take care of this gentleman here, make sure that he's comfortable and warm. Let's produce something uh, to keep you in, uh, in good spirits. Um, we are... Uh, we're about to have our third preview uh, down at the Dominion Theater. Um, for those of you who know anything about uh, creating a new musical, producing a new musical, there's absolutely nothing stressful about producing a giant new musical in the West End. Uh, I've had no panic attacks this week. I'm completely fine. Um, you know, we're having such a good time. Uh, our audiences have been so enthusiastic, more than we ever could have hoped for, and we're learning a lot as we go through this process um, of previewing the show. Um, we're here to celebrate this movie. We're here to celebrate the musical happening at the Dominion. Um, and, uh, and again, on behalf of all of my colleagues at Universal and DreamWorks, thank you so much for being here. Uh, the Prince of Egypt, the musical, came crashing into my life about uh, uh, three years ago when Universal acquired DreamWorks Animation. So I've been running the theater division at Universal for a number of years. Um, and uh, I, I remember, actually, we were doing a reading of a show we were producing called Irving Berlin's Holiday Inn um, in New York. And uh, uh, I had walked by a studio where they were doing a reading of Prince of Egypt, and I thought, oh, I'm jealous. Like, that's one that I wish I could be a part of. Um, and so after DreamWorks became a part of the Universal family, um, I had an opportunity to go to a reading, um, and I was completely uh, shattered by the show. It was, it was so arresting, so compelling, um, and so beautiful. Um, and so it, it's really been an honor to, uh, to be able to pick it up uh, and continue the journey. Uh, so I am curious, um, it, it seems like several of you, but how many of you have actually seen the movie? Yeah, and how many of you know the song When You Believe? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's a fascinating thing that a piece of central storytelling in this movie um, has become uh, a part of culture. Um, people in the UK, people throughout the world, in Chicago, where I grew up, um, view this movie, I think, in a, in a, very, in a very personal way. Um, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just really special to see the audience walking into this theater with such a deep nostalgic connection um, uh, to the piece. Uh, Prince of Egypt as a movie was um, tremendously successful for DreamWorks Animation. It really was the film that put them on the map and defined them as, um, as a powerhouse in the world of animation um, and in, um, in excellent storytelling. Um, and uh, uh, I, I, I think one of the thrilling things for us is having an opportunity to work with several of the original filmmakers um, in bringing this to the stage. Um, one of the things I want to say about the show, which I hope you will all attend, um, is that you don't need to know the movie in order to be moved by this show. Um, you don't even need to know the book. Um, for us, as a stage division, um, book, Exodus, is, is in the Bible. It's one of these things that serves as excellent source material for a piece of theater. Um, but what we've created here, and what our, what our team has been focused on, is creating something that is um, unique for the theater. Um, we're not interested in taking a movie and putting it on stage. Uh, I'm sure several of you, at some point or other, have seen um, a movie turned into a musical. It's been quite literal. They're not always great. They're not always interesting. They're not always necessary. Um, my job at Universal is taking Universal and DreamWorks animation films and turning them into plays and musicals. Um, and when we start that process, the first thing that we always agree to do is breathe in the film and breathe out the film and just try and capture the essence of what made it special and what gave it heart and what made it compelling. Um, and our hope would be that you would be able to watch the show and not know if the movie came first, if the musical came first, because one is not a response to the other. Um, they are their own unique things, um, which is really, really special. Um, look, the whole thing about Steven Schwartz is this. Um, I'm supposed to be chill and cool about all of this because it's, it's my job, but getting to work with the guy who wrote Pippin and who wrote Godspell 
um, and who wrote the lyrics to Colors of the Wind um, and songs for Enchanted and 10 new songs for the Prince of Egypt on stage. It's wild every single day. Even today, down to minute, I'm sitting next to Steven Schwartz and we're talking about notes for the show. Um, it is mind-blowingly cool. He is such a generous collaborator. He's won every award you could, you could ever imagine. Um, and yet, this is a guy who is sitting there in the theater, um, paying attention to what's going on on stage, taking notes, um, putting in changes, uh, with the same hunger and enthusiasm and generosity um, as an up-and-coming artist. It's one of the most extraordinary things um, as, a, as a theater producer that you could ever hope to, uh, to experience. And our book writer is Philip Zednik, who also wrote the movie. So he's hanging out at the Dominion with that same creative, enthusiastic spirit. Um, it is such a generous room, and if you get the chance to go down the, to the Dominion Theater, Again, please do. I think you have a great time. Um, I think what you'll see on that stage is the community um, that exists backstage. Um, I'm a firm believer in the idea that the work that you're doing in creating a show and the spirit of that room and the joy of that room shows up on stage. Um, the people up on that stage love each other. We're a family down at Dominion. Um, and it's, uh, uh, it's so great to see it all come together in the way that it has. Um, so look, I don't, I don't want to hold things up any longer. I actually have to get down to the theater because we have 2,000 of our closest friends coming to take a look at what we've been up to. Um, so again, thank you for being here. It's incredibly meaningful to us. Um, come see our show. Hang out with us. Become part of our family. Um, we're jazzed to have you there. Hope you have a great time. Enjoy the film.